Steve Love here with Prosperity Through Real Estate, and of course, Las Vegas Ria as well. So welcome everyone. Today, I'm gonna to be doing something we usually don't do, and I'm gonna be interviewing one of our future speakers. His name is Ted Thomas. How you doing, Ted? I'm great, great, glad to be here. You know, we've been running this Ria now for nearly 20 years, and I've been taking courses myself my own education for many more years than that. But the very first real seminar that I can remember, I took from you, Ted Thomas. And wow. it was not cheap. And it must have been a good 30 years ago. It was up near um, Mount, Di uh, <laughs> Mount Diablo, California. I can't even remember the name of the it town. Danville, California. Danville, that's right. Yeah. Danville, yeah. California. Uh, about 30 years ago, and it yeah. was a several day seminar. I paid, yeah. huh, it was my first expensive seminar. I paid $5,000 for that. Exactly. Seminar. And uh, wow. And we learned yeah. so much. Um, and I can't remember how many days it was, but it was multiple days. It was um, five days. Five days. We learned yeah. so much. And yeah. so you were the first expensive seminar I ever went to. Obviously, I believe in education. And Thank uh, you. so, guys, you guys can learn so much for the, from this man. So I'm glad to finally have him back here. But um, today we're going to be talking about something that um, most of you don't know a lot about. And it's we're going to be talking about tax liens and tax deeds. So this is kind of an unusual business. I have a bunch of questions I want to ask you today. Um, and then we're going to do a series of, uh, of these interviews, Ted, because I don't want them to go too long. But most people don't know this subject. I'm not sure many people really believe in the type of returns that you get. I mean, you generate tremendous returns, and very safely, I should add, with these tax liens and tax deeds. So can you tell our audience a little bit about this business? Absolutely. So I'll try to keep the answers brief so you can get a lot in in this uh, session. Uh, so first of all, every property in the United States is taxable. Now, that means it's a property tax. It's not an excise tax or an income tax. Every property has a 1% or 2% tax on it. And that tax is always owed to the local county. And if the person doesn't pay the tax, uh, I'll talk to you about two different things. I'll talk to you about tax lien certificates, uh, which people heard a lot about. And then I'll tell you about tax defaulted property. They're a great opportunity in, in, the, in the state that you're in of doing things with tax defaulted property. And I'm gonna shock you with some of that as we get through these interviews together. But to get back to it, every property is taxable. If the people don't pay the tax, then what the county treasurer will do is they will issue a default notice. Now people are familiar with that because they heard about real estate foreclosures. Well, this is the county now, and this is the first tax on every property. So it's always the first lien on the property. And if you can remember that it's the first lien, that's really super important. Now, this is a great way to make money because when people don't pay their tax, the local government has a choice. They can either issue a tax lien certificate or they can confiscate the property. All right, now in California, where most of your people are, or if they're over there in Las Vegas, they're gonna find out that if the people, if they don't pay their tax, they can go five years, the property owner, five years. It's the only state in the union that does that. They let them, be in default for five long years, and then they confiscate the property. They just take it away, they seize it. If there's a tenant in there, they remove the tenant with eviction. If there's a property owner in there, they, they evict the property owner. So this is happening in every state and in every county, and it's always instigated at the county level. The county controls every one of those properties. Now the money that comes in pays for a lot of bills, by the way, and we'll get to that as we go along. So that's, that's the basics of tax liens and tax deeds. You live in a tax deed state. Thank you. And yeah. um, is Nevada also a tax deed state? Yes, Nevada is also a tax deed state, but there are some cases where they have some liens. But think of it as a, a, a Nevada is, uh, they, they like, they're very cheap over there. They don't want to spend a lot of money. So they copy all the rules from California. <laughs> <laughs> I know because I've done so much business in both states. So they copy the California. After the legislature in California makes them all in Sacramento, then uh, Nevada copies them all and uses them uh, from Carson City down all the way to Las Vegas. 
<laughs> and which which of the two states were the five years? No, just uh, just the state of California. California. Uh, most places, I'll give you the opposite of that, just so you know. In Texas, if you default on the taxes, 180 days later, you lose the property to the code. 180 days. Whereas wow. in, in California, it's five years. So it's a very, very liberal state. Very liberal. Okay. Well, first, let's talk about uh, tax lien certificates. How do they work? Okay. So let's use Arizona for the example. In Arizona, the, what they will do if someone goes into default, in other words, someone in Phoenix doesn't pay their tax, what will happen is the local treasurer in Maricopa County will say, all right, you didn't pay your tax, and they will issue a tax lien certificate. Now, these are very benevolent states that sell tax lien certificates. Now, they're benevolent because they don't throw the tenant or the property owner out. The property owner stays in the property, but they're in default. And what the local county did is they sold a piece of paper because what they knew is the government needs money. So they sold a tax certificate. Anybody, like you can sit right in your office right now and buy a tax certificate in Arizona. You can buy it online. We can show you how to do that. So you buy a certificate. Now in Arizona, you buy that certificate, you pay someone else's tax. Then when they come in to pay, just so you know, 97, 95, 97% of the people will come in and pay. When they come in to pay, what they'll do is they'll pay their tax and then the, then the county will call you and say, send your certificate in and we'll send you back your money and they'll give you a 16% interest, which is pretty good when the banks are paying 1%. Exactly. You're lucky yeah. to get 1%. Yeah. So, so that's nice for people that have IRA money, 401k money, uh, that they don't want to take any risk. So I like to say that the entrepreneurial people, uh, which most of Californians are, they really want to buy property because they want that appreciation or whatever. The conservative people that have some gray hair like you and I, well, that what they want to do is they want to buy they want to buy tax liens because you invest with the government, you get a check back on that. They're super safe certificate. If you don't get paid on a tax certificate, if they didn't pay you, you get the property. No mortgage. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. So um, we've, you've talked about how tax liens work a little bit, especially in a place like Arizona. Um, can yeah. you go a little bit more into tax defaulted property? I'm going to talk a lot about tax deeds right now, but I want you to know the picture you're seeing right now just happens to be a tax deed lien list in Jacksonville, Florida. See, it says Jacksonville. That's a tax lien. It looks like the same thing. It'll look just like this if you if you had got the list in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. There's thousands and thousands. Uh, this this list this list is pretty thick. It actually has 37, no, 32,000 tax liens just in that town in Jacksonville. So you have the same thing if you're in Phoenix. Yeah, thousands on. But now let's look at tax defaulted properties right in your hometown. Right in your hometown, we're gonna go. Okay, these are tax defaulted properties. People did not pay their taxes. This is one of the biggest lists in the United States today. This is one of the biggest lists in the United States today. Wow, uh, yeah. you, can't, you can't appreciate how big it is until I go like this. Wow, Los Angeles like this. County. All right, this is Los Angeles County. These are all properties. This is what I'm going to say very closely. These are properties that would be sold with a starting bid of the back taxes. That auction will last from nine o'clock in the morning till six at night. And if they don't finish, they'll auction more the next day. Wow. That's just Los Angeles County. Every county in the state of California will have a list like that. Every county. Wow. So that's how big a business. This is a huge, huge business that people don't know about. When they come, when people attend my class, they go crazy. They don't believe the information we have. Now, every property that, or everything I'm gonna talk about today, you can sit, now you're looking at a computer right now, you can sit at your computer and buy properties. And I will actually show you a video of people that have done that, whatever, later on in our training. Okay. Pretty good, huh? Very good. Yeah. Um, now that, that's a lot of properties. Can one just sit at home and do it online, or do I need to go stand in some auditorium somewhere? Well, it's uh, it's it's both in California. Some of the auctions will be online, like last week, two weeks ago. San Diego had their auction, and they did it online, and they had six hundred properties. You could buy any one of them online. So what Los Angeles has done in the past is they make a. Uh, this is an auction list that you can see that you've seen in the picture I showed you. 
All right, they they might do both. They might have uh, might have people in the room, and they might have people at home. Okay, you can do both ways. It's going to be up to the county. The county treasurer has power in every single uh, power. My, by that I mean authority has authority in every single county to do what they want to do. So Los Angeles County Treasurer uh, makes a decision on what to do. Got it. Yeah. So Ted, let me ask you, is the government actually taking someone's house away? Well, on a tax lien certificate, they're very benevolent. They leave the people in the property and they give them a time limit. So in California, they're also very benevolent because in California, they have given them default notices for five long years. There is no tax, uh, there is no county in the United States that acts like California. California, the complete state, allows five years of defa default to taxes. Now, uh, I don't know where your, sit or where your client is politically, but the state needs money. Every other state will be collecting taxes for all those five years. In California, they let the, they, they're very, very liberal, they don't want to push the people out of the property. They're trying to leave them in there, but they've had five years to pay their tax. I don't think you get a collection agency that would ever wait five years. Right. Yeah. So, you know, we have almost no speakers like yourself that speak about this business. Is the tax lien certificate and tax defaulted business, is it complicated? Is that why? Oh, well, that's a good point. Um, you know, I think every time you see something that's complicated, I remember learning to drive in a parking lot and I was afraid I was gonna hit a tree <laughs> and I was in the parking lot. So it was pretty complicated. Uh, before uh, six months was up, uh, I, I had myself in a position I was going too fast down the road. So I wasn't, it wasn't very complicated at that point. But I think when you first learn something, you should learn it by having um, a tutor and a guide and whatever. Now that's self-serving when I say that because that's what I do. But, but the point is, this is something that's very learnable all the learning can be done online. You can do it at home. It used to be very time consuming. For example, if I attend a, an auction in Los Angeles, I uh, spent 35 years of my life living just outside of San Francisco. As you know, that's where we met. And so I want to attend that. I had to drive there and go to the auction. So that, or if I wanted to go to Stanislaus County, which was Modesto, or I wanted to go up to, you know, Gridley up in, uh, you know, one of the counties up in Sacramento, wherever I went, I had to go there. But now, Everything is convenient and everything can be done on the computer. So we actually have classes where we teach people to do it on the computer. So anybody that can, if they can get on a Zoom call, they can do this. <laughs> okay, Seriously. Good, good. good. Um, you know, we, a lot of our people are, well, all of our people probably, most are into houses, they wholesale, they retail. Um, and so can they, in this business, can they also you know, make a nice check, you know, for wholesaling, they might make 25, 30 grand for retailing in California with our million dollar houses, they may make, you know, six figures. Can you do that in this type of business too? All right, you can make, um, first of all, we don't teach people to make five or 10,000 bucks. If they can't make 25 grand on the deal, we tell walk away from it. Let's go get a deal that you're gonna make 25 grand. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you right now about a client before we take our break. I'll tell you about a client, his name is Doug. Okay, now he's from, he's from the San Jose area. All right, now people up in that area, uh, they could come to LA and buy, but why not just go out in the Central Valley and buy? So he, we are not stealing these properties. What we are doing is we're trying to find good properties that maybe are slightly used and abused. All right, we're not buying junk. We will pay anywhere from 10, 20, or 30 cents on the dollar. And I'm going to show you what he did. He bought a $160,000 property. I'll show you the picture. I'll show you his picture. He bought it for uh, for like $60,000. So he didn't get a cheap deal. But what he did is he bought a property worth one hundred and fifty. dollars So you're getting the idea. So there's plenty of margin. In other words, the margin between sixty and one hundred and fifty, dollars hundred and sixty. dollars get. And so I'll show you a couple of those deals. Uh, I'll show you some still pictures of that. If we just hold on right a second, I'll do it right now. You know, Ted, we have a lot of newbies in our group, um, and they're just getting started. They may not have any money 
right. so can they can they start with just very little money you know a few hundred you know dollars or so all right now everybody wants me to say that answer you can just start with 50 bucks folks if anybody that's listening to me if they want to buy tax lien certificates you can need to do it online like in arizona or in florida remember everything can be done online they don't have to travel so they can buy small tax lien certificates for five hundred, fifteen hundred dollars. Now remember, if you invest fifteen hundred dollars and you make an eighteen percent return, you know you're not getting rich on that, but you you get started. So oh, yeah. tax lien certificates are perfect for that. You can buy for five hundred. I bought tax certificates uh, for five thousand, seven thousand, two hundred dollars, whatever. Uh, but there'll be thousands. So I'm going to take you back to that for a second, just so I can show you. Lance, bring me over to camera two again, and I'm going to show them a tax lien list. I could show you dozens. Of, this is a tax lien list for Jacksonville that I showed you. If I look it up, you can't see it real close, but you can see every one of those. Uh, uh, they could, you can see the actual tax on it. Some of the tax is only a few thousand dollars. So they can buy for a few thousand dollars. And there's literally thousands. I can keep turning these pages. There, there's going to be over 30,000 just in this list in every county that sells liens. So if you are in Florida, that list like that, there's a million, one million tax certificates just in the state of Florida every year. One million. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah it really is. It really is. Okay. And does, if, are, are you sure then, just, I just want to make sure this is, so I have this in my head. If the property owner does not pay the tax lien certificate, do you get the property? The law is uh, the law is the law, and it's everywhere. For example, um, in California, if the if the people don't pay the tax, they give them five years. Then they auction the property. They just took it away from them. Uh, in Arizona, just to use that because it's close by, in Arizona, if you buy the certificate, it'll have a time limit on it, and the time limit is two years. And so, at the end of two years, if that that person hasn't paid their their certificate, they call that redemption. If they don't come in and redeem it and pay you, you get the property without a mortgage. Without a mortgage. Wow. Yeah. So, and again, just so I'm clear, this will be the last question I'm going to ask you. Um, if if the guy doesn't pay the government his taxes, what makes, you know, you think he's going to pay you on this certificate? Oh, well, yeah, that's, uh, I'm glad you asked that question because if they don't pay the government, you would think they're not going to pay you, except for one reason. 95 to 97 percent, according to the counties, will pay because if they don't pay, you get the property without a mortgage. So let's say there's a hundred thousand dollar house. The taxes is one or two percent. So that means the taxes were two thousand dollars. So I paid the two thousand and the guy doesn't pay me. I just got a house for two thousand with no mortgage. Wow. So I have people that I'll show you on the next video that actually have spent $11,000 for a certificate and got a $30,000 condominium, uh, a $200,000 condominium. Wow. It's unbelievable. Okay. So I'll show uh, you video. I'll show you that on a video. Let's watch that. And um, then we'll, um, we'll close for today and we'll, uh, we'll resume it on the next uh, video. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not It's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turn to Ted, we turn to um, all his education, we turn to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. We were in 11. it total for 11,000. Both of those. And we rented it's that like at twelve twenty five for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account.